Hey guys, what's up? It's TJ. Last week, I had the opportunity to go out to LA for E3, and uh, I had an amazing time. For those of you that don't know what E3 is, it is a gaming expo, convention, trade show type deal where all the big companies and publishers get together in Los Angeles and showcase their new games, new consoles, all of that. And if you follow gaming at all, over the past week you've probably heard information coming out of E3. Things such as Microsoft's new Xbox called the Xbox One X, terrible name I know. Nintendo completely stealing the show with Super Mario Odyssey and ARMS and Splatoon and Pokemon Tournament, so many games. And like I said, I was actually fortunate enough to get my hands on a lot of these games before they even come out. So on the Xbox One X, I actually got to play the new Assassin's Creed game, I got to play Forza 7, and I got to play Crackdown 3. Um, the best of the three, the best looking game was definitely Forza 7. Uh, it was running at 60 frames per second at native 4K, and it was gorgeous. We were playing on the Xbox One X dev kits, uh, so they weren't the final version, but they were. They had the internals of the Xbox One X, and that thing pumps out some power. That Those games looked all three looked phenomenal, but Forza 7 just blew me away. I was not expecting that, that game to look so good. And then with Nintendo, I was able to actually play Super Mario Odyssey, uh, FIFA 18, ARMS, and Splatoon. And uh, I am so pumped for Super Mario Odyssey. Like I thought that before I wanted to play, um, but after actually getting my hands on it and playing it a little bit, I cannot wait for that game to come out. It's going to be so fun, uh, and I can see that being the best-selling game and probably overtaking Zelda, to be honest. I can see that happening for sure. And lastly, and this is the most important to me, I got to actually get my hands on Destiny 2. Uh, I don't know if you guys know uh, how much I play the original Destiny game. It's definitely over a thousand hours at this point. Um, so I'm very excited for Destiny 2 and uh, I got to play it early and it was <laughs> amazing. The mode that I ended up playing was a PvP mode called Countdown. Basically it's a 4v4 mode where you have to plant a charge, which is like a bomb, and the other team has to disarm it before the time runs out essentially. My team did end up losing, but I had the highest score on my team, so I feel like I came away with a victory there. All the games that I was playing at E3 was on the newest hardware, so the Nintendo Switch, the PS4 Pro, and then the Xbox One X. At home, I have the Xbox One S and just the standard PS4. So the first night I got back, I, I turned on my PS4 and started playing a game, and I instantly could just see the difference, because how, how well the games looked there. Mine at home were not performing the same way. So yesterday morning, I actually got up, and I traded my PS4 in, and went and got a PS4 Pro. Um, I felt like it was necessary for me. And like I said, I traded some things in, so I actually only paid like $50 after trade-ins for that PS4 Pro. Uh, and it was definitely worth it. I can't wait till Destiny 2 Beta comes out next month and I play it on that thing. It's gonna be, it's gonna be so gorgeous. So using that PS4 as a little segue, uh, my main content these days is now on Twitch. If you don't know what Twitch is, it is a live streaming platform where you can play games, uh, they have an in real life channel which is kind of like vlogging, uh, but I do stream a lot of video games now and I'm going to make that more my main thing. Actually, if you're watching this tonight, soon after I upload this video, I will be live. There's probably a little annotation at the bottom that shows that I'm live. If you click that, it'll take you to my Twitch page uh, and tonight I'm playing probably Horizon Zero Dawn. I haven't played that yet, but I really wanted to, so I'm going to play that game tonight. Now what this channel will become in the future is going to be like highlights from my Twitch streams from the week. I'll put like some highlights that I like there, put it up here. Uh, any like unboxings that I get, uh, new systems, new games, new tech things, I will unbox those here for you guys and let you see them. This will definitely become more of a, a tech focused, tech and gaming focused place. After, after going to E3, I really kind of found myself at home in that community, so that's what I kind of want to focus this around. Thank you guys for watching this video, I very much appreciate it, and until next time, I'm out. Peace and deuces!